Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Finally got some odds on Chris Colbert and Omar Salcido, which will be on the Pro Box card tomorrow. This is a really interesting fight. A lot of people are going to be intrigued. I think we got a nice little two-way parlay here. I can't use DraftKings. Uh, if you want to ch- hear about my parlay, go over to the live stream uh, and check out the live stream. But I want to get into this first. Um but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Uh, come over to the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's just $5 a month. It gets you the lock of the week, in which we've hit 11 out of 13 or something like that. Uh, I think it's 11 out of 13. Uh, we've missed just twice since July. Once in July, and then um, it, it, we don't miss, is what I'm saying. Um, also, carnivorebar.com. Head over to carnivorebar.com to get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. The nutrition of a steak. Nutrition on the move without compromise. In the convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING at checkout to save 10%. Uh, also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. That's uh, 3D Boxing on uh, yeah, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Um, Omar Salcedo. We'll start with Omar Salcedo. Why not? Um, decent fighter, decent pop, typical Mexican come forward style. Head is on the line. He does get hit a lot. Like I said, that that head, it it doesn't move. He's a front foot guy, aggressive. He commits to his shots. He's pretty basic. He mixes up head and body pretty well. He stays busy. Like he's got some offensive grit to him. It was not an easy out by any means, but this is also not a very high level guy. Um, I think this is a weird test for Colbert. I don't think the matchmaking is spectacular because uh, he is a hitter, and you know, Colbert got brutally knocked out. Typically, when a guy gets brutally knocked out, you want to keep him away from a puncher uh, for the first in, in the immediate future. In his first fight back, different thing like that. Um, so I don't think this is a, a great tune-up, but or great get back fight for Colbert. But I, I do think Colbert will definitely pass it um, straight in and out. Catch on the line, no, literally no head movement. He stays behind a high guard. He picks shots off a little bit, but it's it's easy to split his guard. He's not particularly fast. He's not particularly athletic. He's, he's not really special. Uh, he's an opponent level guy. Decent power. Decent decent combination punching. You know, fundamentally skilled. He knows how to fight a bit, but he's you know he's he's an offensive fighter who's defensive floored, easy to hit. Stays behind a high guard. He can get him to shell up. He's just not anything special. Like he's 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 a pretty easy guy to have uh, if you're a master technician like Colbert is. He blocks shots. He doesn't punch. He doesn't punch with. He doesn't punch in between his punches. He he waits for his his opening and then he throws. This is a guy that you know is a test. You sh- if you're any good, if you're what we thought Colbert was, he should pass it easily. I actually really like the odds on this fight, which we'll get into a second. Now, Chris Colbert is a guy that you know had a lot of hype coming in. He's supposed to be Brooklyn's next fighter, and I'll be honest. I was one of the guys that fell for him. I, I thought Chris Colbert was the dude. I was like, oh, Chris Colbert versus Shakur Stevenson is a fight that has to get made. And like looking back at it, like, Shakur would absolutely wreck him, <laughs> like dominate 120, 108. Um, but Chris Colbert, lightning quick, quick reflexes. He dominates lower competition, quick, good athlete. He, he's good when he lets his hands go. When he lets his hands go and he circles the center of the ring or off the back foot, he's really good. He's good jab. He needs to stay busy with it. Quick counter shots, 
likes to be at the distance. When he can control the distance and let his hands go, he's really good. It's when he's coming forward or shelling up is when he's in trouble. He, and he does shell up at times. And we saw that with Hector Garcia. And he's he, he's predictable. His combinations are all the same. His jab is the same. He's got to get more feints involved. He's got to mix things up a little bit. Otherwise, he becomes easy to counter, which will kind of be Salcedo's saving grace. Like, if anything is going to happen for Salcedo, it's going to be off a counter shot. Um he doesn't flick out his jab enough. He's got a good jab, and when he when he's using it, he's good. But you can see he struggles. He has like these mental lapses or uh, brain farts. I don't know what you want to call him, but Chris Cole is a very good fighter who has who has bad habits. Like that's really all I can say. Uh, we were talking about how Salcedo isn't gifted, but he knows how to fight. Like I, I don't feel like for as gifted and as talented as he is, Colbert really has the intricacies of the sport down. Good athlete, doesn't utilize his jab or volume. He's good at range. Uh, and he's good at setting things up off the jab, but like I said, very, very predictable, easy to counter, shells up, gets hit a lot more than you would expect, and he gets hit a lot when he wants to come forward or, or does his throw. Keep moving, Chris. Like you're a high level gifted fighter. This should be this should be an easy one sided performance. I don't know if it's gonna be that way a lot. I definitely think he's gonna win. He's gonna survive this fight for sure. I, I would say is almost no chance that he loses the fight, which is why I like the odds on this fight so much um, because it's not crazy wide. And, you know, people are riding off Chris Colbert. Do not write off Chris Colbert. Chris Colbert is a, two, uh, is a gifted fighter. Uh, Chris Colbert, minus 260 on the money line. I like it. I'll bet makes you 38, 46. That's not terrible. That is not terrible. Uh, so I would I would definitely look to get into that bet. I'll bet. Uh, makes you what do we say thirty six dollars thirty eight dollars and forty six cents so some makes you almost forty bucks it's about two and a half to one um favorite for for Colbert which is not bad but again Colbert should dominate this fight he should win this easily um let me know what you guys think if you can get a prop for this thing to go over I definitely like it to go over you can get a prop Chris Colbert by decision take a look at that that's probably worth taking a look at I don't have those props yet I don't have anything up on DraftKings as of an hour ago let me check again to see if there's anything updated on because they always drop it they just drop it late. let me see if there's anything updated on on DraftKings if there is I will share it with you and there is not so Chris Colbert money line hundred dollar bet is gonna make you about forty bucks. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. You guys, please join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. It gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the world. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you uh, request the fight. It gets you the updated props. Like if, the, if and when the props in this fight drops, we will have them for you over on the Patreon. Uh, you can request them, and I will give them to you. Uh, but we, don't ha- we just don't have them now. They're, they're, not, they're not released. Um, also, go over to carnivalbar.com. That's carnivalbar.com. Use promo code BOXING uh, to save 10% at checkout. Uh, get the uh, nutrition that you need in the convenience of a bar. It's the nutrition of a steak. It's nutrition on the move without compromise in the convenience of a bar. It is October 15th. We're already halfway through October uh, 2024. From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.